Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the beautiful town of Guetaria in northern Spain, not far from San Sebastian. It's a coastal town and they are known for their seafood. And that's exactly why we are here. It is home to one of the greatest, one of the best, especially fish restaurants in the world. Oh. It's going to be an amazing day. I can't wait to eat their grilled whole grilled turbot and I'm going to share the entire experience with you all coming up right now in this video. Welcome to Guetaria, Spain. We drove over here, over here from San Sebastian. It was about a 20, 20, 30 minute drive or so. We are going straight to lunch to El Cano, the legendary, known as one of the best fish, especially restaurants. El Cano is a seafaring village and um, Aitor's parents started this restaurant in 1964, a little bit further down the village, we can go by and see the original grill. And his father is famous for putting the first whole turbot on, on the grill. And anyway, it's grown since then, you can see there. You know, it's a very chic restaurant, but they're true to their to their roots here. They still do just amazing grilled things, very sensitively done. And so that's like, you they're, come here, like you don't come here without getting the whole grilled turbot. No, that's what you come here for. I mean, that's sometimes when it's not for. season, you might get something else. You might get a, a sole or something like that. They do really flat fish really well. Aitor goes to the markets every day and he finds the perfect fish. I mean, he goes to the markets from, from sort of Ondarroa, which is the beginning of this province, all the way up to saint jean de luz in France. And he chooses the best fish for the day. And so if it's not the right season, he'll tell you. He'll tell you what fish is supposed to be in season. It's great when they have some of the smaller fish as well. And Jeffrey, you've been here before? I have, and uh, I think it's maybe the best single fish in the world. It's one of those places that you're never disappointed. It's always fantastic. We start with the cocochas, grilled and in green sauce. They will say you're a way to cook and in green sauce. Yep. Then we go probably with the, with the head of the lobster, um, of the, the caramelized onion with the squid, the crab, the red, uh, red mullet with the foie and different cushion, the turbot. Oh, Looks like quality bread. Yes. Crusty. Olive oil pour. Mm. Oh man, olive oil is good though. Hard to resist. First bite we have here. Bonito albacore tuna. A little bit of a vinaigrette maybe on it. Onions? Mm. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. That's just extraordinary. That's yes. Next little butter is stone bass. Again, just a very simple garnish. Can definitely tell that it, they don't want to cover anything up of the freshness of the fish. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, that's so fresh, so clean. First glimpse at the grills, which are actually facing the road. You can even see the sea from here. The grill chef is busy throwing things on. It's like a triple, a double or triple, actually it's a quadruple grill system flaming coals and then he kind of scoots the coals out to even them out on the other side. Whoa, that's some flaming mushrooms. He's got some uh, fish already going, whole turbots in these specially designed fish-shaped grill trays. What uh, uh, a restaurant just dedicated to grilled fish. Oh, that fire is blazing hot. My face, the camera is melting. And so he just like continually just flips the fish, sprays on salt, and it just crackles and hisses. Okay, so these are hake throats. 
One is grilled, one is in a pill pill sauce. Flip it over uh -huh. and then press your tongue up against the top of your mouth so that gelatin explodes. So that's yeah. that's a pro move. The gelatin explodes. That mm. is a pro move. Flip, flip it over. Oh, you can see that bottom side is yeah, really fatty. Has like a fat cap on it. Press that up onto the rooftop of your mouth. Mm. Oh wow. Oh that's outstanding. <laughs> oh, not chewy at all. I've had some that have been a little chewy. This one just melts in your mouth. Pure throat butter. Next one with the pil pil sauce. Pil pil sauce is olive oil and fish, and, fish and, oil. And, and, and you've got the gelatin from the fish okay. and a little bit of cassa from the garlic. And maybe a sprinkle of parsley in there. Yeah. Is that green? Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Good as well. Squid stuffed with its own legs and a little bit of onion on the inside or the, the no, onion, onion sauce? The That's the onion sauce. One biter squid. Mm. Oh, wow. That's unbelievable. Mm. That has to be the most tender squid I've ever had. With just the faint sweetness of the onions. Unbelievable. So delicate, so pure and fresh. Oh, those onion, that onion paste is incredible. See? The body of the spider crab. They've taken all the meat out of the legs. All the meat out of the legs. Yeah. Put it back in the head, mixed with some kind of a uh, sauce? Um, yeah, well, it's lots of uh, vegetables, so it's carrot and onion. Oh, okay. And brandy, and sometimes they have a little bit of breadcrumb on top, just a little, to, to, to kind of, it. And then it's kind of, oh, and then they grill it. With the head. Yeah, they just put it under the salamander. So then it gets a little bit, it gets a little bit uh, crusty and crunchy on top. You smell the smokiness of the head. Crab made into a pudding and reinserted into itself. Look at how flaky and stringy it is. Oh, oh wow. Mm. It's just dish after dish here. Oh, this is unbelievable. The sweetness, yeah, the sweetness of the crab still stands out, even with that sauce. That sauce is like merely there to hold it together. You can taste maybe like onions and carrots and some kind of like puree of vegetables. But truly, it does not overpower the fresh beauty of that crab. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Unbelievable. You don't want any of that sauce to go to waste. So I like how it's many courses of seafood, but it's quite rapid fire. So you eat one, off the grill comes the next, off the grill comes the next. Next up is lobster, but this is not just any lobster. This is Atlantic lobster that has, that's a female with these green, like a dark green, almost actually blue in their raw eggs. And I saw this on the grill, it's just the head. They like plop the entire egg sack on top of the head, let it grill and just let it only grill on one side so that it just melts into the lobster. There's so much like melted eggs and head juices all over. Yeah, we're gonna have to use bread to get all that. Oh, wow. That literally, I mean, that's straight like, what even, what even is that? It's like sweet melted cream, lobster cream. Incredible. Mm, mm. Oh, it's unbelievable. Oh, green. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Re-up on that yolk. Melted lobster yolk. It has a hint of bitterness and then a sweet finish. Mm. Plus the flavor of the smoke from the grill. Something truly magnificent. Unbelievable. Green butter. Lobster butter. Yeah. Yeah. No. You gotta have it, yeah. Better love. Oh, okay. Gracias.
a variety of mushrooms after on the grill, just slightly seasoned salt egg yolk. Mm. The freshness of these mushrooms, the quality, the fire that's been absorbed into them, the yolk to just give it some richness. Superb. Two more courses, the mullet, then the turbot. And there are the peppers. Oh, and with all those peppers on the grill, we have to get them too. Okay, so next course is the peppers that we saw in the grill. They're similar to bell peppers, even bigger though. And they basically sit on the grill for probably a few hours until they just turn probably blistered skin. The meat of the pepper turns like completely soft and then they serve them. So these are actually probably cooked yesterday, although they're putting on the batch now for tomorrow. But we saw them on the grill, we had to get them. <laughs> Just can tell how sweet, how sweet they're gonna be. Just melt in your mouth. Candy. Fire roasted. Mm. Yeah. Incredibly sweet. The smokiness from the fire. Melt in your mouth. have a red mullet divided up into many, many pieces of like a fish butchery here. Oh, really? So he's gonna divide it all out? Mm. Liver first? Really intense, really intense, rich flavors, buttery. Nice. Oh, it's so soft. The liver of the red mullet. fantastic, I mm. Oh, wow. Oh, and here's the, the body. What is living? It used to be with all the small fish here, they would just fry them up. Uh -huh. And what they decided a couple of years ago was like, you know, it, just, it, you know, it wasn't making the most of the fish. So they just, as I say, kind of raised up. They only cook it from the top with hot oil on the on the, on the top. So they're not, skin. they're cooked from the top. So they, the skin kind of like lo rises up. Oh, nice. And then they put the head on the grill. And then reconstruct it on the plate. Very cool. So I'll start with the body of the filet here, which is the, the oil pour to cook it, like an oil waterfall technique. Mm. Oh man, extraordinary. Buttery and flaky and so perfectly cooked, so it's juicy. Okay, I'll go for the tail next. Tail and bone structure. You can eat through the whole bone. Oh, it's deep fried, so you can eat the bone, yeah. Those parts. Mm hmm. Crispy all the way through. Mm. Yeah, this is so good. Then finally, the head just falls apart. Mm. There's literally nothing on this but salt and just perfection in cooking it. I'm parting it out to just completely respect every part of this fish. Okay. And we gotta go back out to the grill one more time to see him finish our turbot. As that turbot's on the grill, because it's such a fatty fish and it's a bottom dweller, it's, it's a flat fish, it just, it's so fatty, you can just see it literally melting on the grill and all that fat and juices coming out. Here comes the sauce spray, the elevation spray. And the grill master, he's one of the most jolly grill masters you're ever, you'll ever meet, just singing, flipping, flopping seafood continuously. Oh, yeah, it seems it is. Oh, oh, that was the flop. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. That, we gotta run to the table. That's going directly to our table. The main event. There it is. The legendary parting out of the turbot. The white oh, skin okay. is looking to the sun and the black one is looking to the sea. Okay. When we cook, the black skin never caramelized and the white skin, we want to be caramelized. Ah. So our intention is to serve to you the meat with the skins. The meat. We 
the white is getting caramelized. Wow. With the black one, where you will find a little bit of buttons. Ah, so you like can eat the meat with the white or black skin. They're so different areas. And the meat between the bones. Probably the best of the fish. In the bone section? This area. This area was for the child. And this area was for the father or the, or the, or the mother. Probably the best of the fish. The white points. The protein of the fish. The protein in the olive oil. We can make emulsion. So it's only olive oil? Olive plus oil, the, something acidity. The oil of the fish? So it's the protein that the fish is taking out. So the protein with the olive oil, we can make it emulsion or peel peel. The way to wow. cook. So you can eat the meat with the white skin. Wow. Black skin, the protein of the fish. This protein, you will find more. Take wow. with your fingers and start eating with it. It has to be one of the greatest fish parting outs that you'll ever see in your life. That was an unbelievable process. Using no knives whatsoever in the process. A spoon, spoon cut fish. He said to start with this bone section. Well, that's considered like the delicacy. This is the delicacy? Yeah, it's hardly delicate on the bone, just dripping in its own emulsion. The entire meal was outstanding, but this is literally what we, we came for, and it's finally time. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Mm. That's fish butter. Oh, that's not that. <laughs> It just literally melts into oil in your mouth. You have the crunchiness of that skin on the bottom. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that is, the texture is unbelievable. And because of the anatomy of the turbot, there's the, the white side, which is down on the sand, since it's a flatfish, and the skin side is up. So he parted it out in a way that we have a bit of each. So I'll go with the, the white, the white skin first. Yeah, it is incredibly meaty and firm. Mm. So flaky, so firm, yeah. And so buttery all at the same time, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and turbot can be a type of fish that gets rubbery if it's overcooked. You know, that's why they just like, keep close attention on that grill to make sure it's cooked perfectly. Almost looks like snake skin. Bumpy as well. Oh. Mm. I think the skin side has a bit of a stronger taste to it. And you can eat those little bumps in the skin. It has more of a roasty flavor to it as well. Mm. Yeah, this is something special. Magnificent. Save one more bone. Look at it dripping. Oh, it really is the best bite. Lo único que hemos hecho nosotros es, aparte de limpiar, ver dónde ha comido, qué ha comido, que esté grueso, que sea último en la red, o sea, todo este ciclo. Yo, yo no recuerdo un julio. Wow. No, pero, con lo cual, los, los elementos que comen al full están... Pil, pil. Lo que ha comido el animal. The fat, fat of the fish, hand blended with a spoon. Fat of the fish. Oh, yeah, la ventresca, the chest. Wow. Sometimes it will be a little bit bitter area. The chest from the, the chest? black side oh. and the chest from the white side. Now we're straight up, we're just straight up taking black off chest, the bits. White chest. Black chest of the fish. One white chest. So two different chests. Mm. Oh, it's a totally different texture. Take the chest. 
and the bones. The chest. To eat with the fingers, I mean, to eat by the to take with the fingers and work. It seems like more cooking. They dry your clothes and grow so. And I give you the grandfather or grandmother, you be good. The chicken. Oh, thank you. Gelatin. Ready, gelatin? Yeah. Okay. This is the gelatin of the turbot. Gracias. So, turbot, you will be crunchy or you be bone marrow? This is just the ultimate lesson in anatomy. Oh. The gelatin. Okay, cheek. So firm. Like, like the brown, the brown, the brown, this brown, the brown, the brown. Second the brown, the brown. Mm. Oh, yeah, it is like bone marrow. It's slimy and creamy and liquefies in your mouth. That was truly a, an incredible anatomy lesson on every single section and edible part of this incredible fish. That was. Incredible. Spare rib. How did you spare it? Oh. The bone marrow and I get spare rib. The bone. Mmm. It's like the collarbone. Mmm. Oh, the burnt fin. One of the best pieces. Mm. It's filling. It's heavy and it's so rich. Literally like just melting oil and fish butter. Cheese ice cream to end. Mm. It is really good, yeah. Like a cheesecake ice cream with just a little berry dressing. And then we also got some grilled cherries. Comes with ice cream on the side too. Cream ice cream. A seasonal special. Mm. Oh, those cherries are amazing. Mm. That's like good for dessert for me. Grilled cherries, fresh root. Cheese ice cream is actually remarkably good as well. wraps up this outstanding meal. Goes down as one of my favorite restaurants in Spain. So good. The quality, the precision, even all the little bites that we had, all leading up to the turbot, the mullet, the lobster head, everything was astoundingly good, astoundingly fresh, cooked again simply, but just magnifying and optimizing the natural product. Incredible meal. We're off to do a little bit of walking around. The restaurant is named Elcano. This town is where Juan Sebastian Elcano was born, is from, who circum was the first to circumnavigate the entire globe back 500 years ago. Exactly, why's it Magellan? Sorry guys, Magellan died in the Philippines. So the colorful balconies, they would paint their boats. This is a fisherman village. They'd paint their boats, leftover paint, use on their balconies. Really a pleasant, just a pleasant seaside village with deep seafood roots. Okay, where you sit, you know, if you want to need to put boiling oil on your enemies, you do okay. it here. This is owned by one of the best chakali houses, Chomanachani. I built on a big slope because I had to build this tunnel. This used to be where the river was, but it also was perfect, like angling out so you could have your cannon in here and shoot your enemies that were trying to attack you. Because ah. the price for putting your boat in here during a storm was half your cargo. So. Wow. They, this, this village did well. Oh, so this leads down to the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's like the only protected harbor. Uh, on this north coast, actually. There's fishing poles lined up because tuna's caught. Oh, okay, line okay. Caught. Okay. It's bonito, it's albacore tuna. Okay. But it's, uh, it's all line caught. With the anchovies, they'll be doing it with the nets, but this is. Ah, uh, okay. And see this little boat down here? Yeah. 
Those are for the retired fishermen. Those are chiparoneras, chiparone which are squid fishing boats, but they just oh, like go out okay. after lunch to have a cigar, catch something. So it's like leisure, more leisure, leisure fishing leisure, than commercial leisure. fishing. Yeah, yeah. The fishing port, the harbor, men, and then I think if you go further down that way, you can get to the beach. It's just a, such a picturesque coastal fishing town. Man, it's so nice, yeah. Truly an amazing meal, highly recommended. The quality, the care, the freshness of the seafood is just what stood out. And also great to hang out with my friend Jeffrey Extreme Foodies and Gabriella from Tenedor Tours. And that's gonna be it for this video. I'll have the information in the description box below and thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also remember to check back on some of the other Spain food videos. We've been traveling around Spain, eating some of the best food and be sure to watch some of those videos as well. And thank you again for watching. Be sure to subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Spain and I will see you on the next video.